And we've been talking about the NBA draft throughout the morning. It is tonight. The Washington Wizards have the ninth pick in the draft. They had the ninth pick a year ago and drafted Rui Hachimura from Gonzaga. I think he had a decent, decent, not spectacular, but decent rookie season when he was on the court. And we were kicking around what they should do with the ninth pick earlier in the show. If you missed it, use the rewind feature on Radio.com because we gave you our junkies steals of the draft. But we wanted to revisit the big rumor, which is that the Wizards – are dangling John Wall in an effort to bring Russell Westbrook to Washington. Would you want them to do it? Unequivocally, I say yes, because Westbrook is a guy who's won an MVP. He's a walking triple-double. He's just better. And the NBA is all about talent. One guy can really transform your team. And I don't know if it's the best fit with Bradley Beal, but I think it could work. Uh, I can't be convinced. I don't really care. I mean, certainly, certainly, when he injured the the Achilles, I would have traded him for a toaster. But now I'm kind of intrigued by, by the comeback. But Cakes brings up a really good point, and that is we've already seen those two together, and their best run was at what a second round. Uh, Made it to game seven against the Celtics. Yeah, I mean that two. was. Yeah, you know, that was quite a few years ago. I mean, Beal's better. I mean, let's assume that John can come back at like 95%. I don't know. You could easily convince me. I don't feel that passionate about it. You could easily convince me because there's no dis- there's no debating. I mean, Westbrook's a better player. I mean, there's no mm-hmm. debating that. No, he's not as good. You know, the problem with Russell Westbrook is he's not a great shooter from the outside. Um, you know, he'll have these games where he'll go 7 for 24. Right. From the field, a lot so of he can games. shoot you out of game. Seven for twenty-four and seven turnovers. Right. But you just see, it seems like Tommy Shepard and company. It seems like they want to build around Beal. Mm-hmm. So if Wall is becoming secondary, and you can get Westbrook in return, I don't mind shaking it up a little bit, because I think this team needs a little bit of a shakeup, a different complexion going forward. Yeah, yeah I mean, shaking it up would certainly, would certainly maybe re- revitalize the franchise a little bit. I know. I, there's a, I just have kind of like a wizard's fatigue, you know, just kind of like the same donks. Right. Maybe this would, would same re- results. Yeah. This would reinvigorate yeah. you. It might actually. Might get you so back well, in the mix. I, I would ask, you know, you guys, if you know, as Wizards fans, are you trading him because you just feel like they they need a shakeup? Are you trading him because you're worried about the Achilles? I think I've or gotten are you over trading that. Him, or are you trading him because you just don't think that Wall and Beal? Can kind of coexist. I think it might be a combination group. of all of those factors. So, you, well, so it's all off the court him. stuff you don't really care about. I don't really care. I'm trading him because you're a better team with Russell Westbrook. Yeah. I think you're a better team. You win more games, and I'd rather build around Russell Westbrook and Bradley Beal than John Wall and Bradley Beal. Well, how much flexibility do you have? I mean, you're going to still be locked in, right? Once you bring in, what, yeah, you say build locked, around. Yeah. It's just going to be we got to wait around. And one well, thing no, I did but, see is that Tommy Shepard's going to trying to get another second round pick, so that's good. Yeah, I'm you know? willing to deal. I, I'm willing to deal basically anybody on the team if I can get Russell Westbrook besides Bradley Beal. Right. I mean, if you're if you're going to move John Wall, then everybody else is is up for grabs too outside of Beal. Well, let me ask you this. And if, actually, if, and I think I would be willing to move Bradley Beal too. And it seems like they're listening because we don't know if he long term wants to be here. Yeah. Yeah. Well, getting back to the Westbrook thing, if Houston says, we'll give you Westbrook for Wall, but you got to throw in the number nine mm-hmm. and a future number one, would you do that? Yes. I don't know. That's a lot. I think, I, think I would. Because more often than not, right, where do you draw the line, Russell JP? Westbrook, if you're going to bring in Russell Westbrook, you're going to get your, your pick next year. It's not going to be number nine. You're going to be a lower tier playoff team, in my opinion. And right, they so may be probably... a lower tier playoff team this year anyway with John Wall. But so your pick is going to probably be like 15. And I'm not saying that you can't hit a home run. You can every once in a while. Giannis was picked 15. But I just think he's so good. Um, And to me, 32 doesn't scare me. Like I understand 32 years old, he's not young, but he's still got at least five years of playing great basketball left in him. I could be convinced as well. Um, It kind of depends on how much more on top of of Wall you're going to send them. I'm not going to just give multiple number ones. If it's just the nine and and wall, okay, I could be convinced there, but it kind of depends. So let's let's touch the uh, let's touch the the Wizards fans if they're interested. Would you make that deal? 
800-636-1067. Do you want the Wizards to make a move for Russell Westbrook, or do you think he's poisonous? That's the problem. A lot of people think that he just can't win. You can't win with Russell Westbrook. I'd counter and say, well, he's been to the NBA Finals, Mm -hmm. and he's taken teams, you know, in the NBA playoffs now. Once Durant left and he was just there, you know, alone essentially as a star because Harden was long gone, um, they didn't have much success in the playoffs, but they were there every year. No, I, yeah. I, Who the says the Wizards gonna, aren't going to win a championship. <laughs> They're not going to win a championship in those guys' career. Well, I don't understand why everyone says you can't win with Westbrook. Well, you can't win with John Wall. He's, it's right. been 10 right. years. I would, I would right. take multiple playoff appearances strung together with Westbrook so and that's Beal and whoever else. Yes. If you right. could. So, so, Drabby, that's my question. So, if you just feel like you have to, and we talked about this, I don't know, for the last couple of years, they've topped out. Right, they topped out of what they could do with those two guys. If you just want to shake it up, yeah, make the deal. But you got to be willing to give something on top of Wall because they're not taking Wall for Westbrook. Isn't this why we liked Tommy Shepard right away because he shaked things up? Yes. He came in here. I mean, Ernie would ne- never do something like this. He would just sit back and do the same thing over and right. over and run he would it back. Sell the second round be draft seventh, pick. Eighth. Yeah, just it, <laughs> right. it, it's exciting. I mean, Shepard came out yesterday and said. John Wall's not going to play in back-to-back games and have low minutes. Well, what are we waiting for? Because you know Westbrook's going to play. Cantor has been on the record said he's not only the best player I've ever played with, he's the best teammate I've ever had, speaking of Westbrook. I'm fired up. I mean, we've seen John Wall and Beal. They're good, not great. I've you never seen so Drabby. Me. I'm think... fired about the whiz. <laughs> I, I, I think that well, the, I'm a Rui guy. absolutely <laughs> should do the <laughs> deal. And like I said, I would go so far as to give them this year's number one and next year's number one because I think Russell Westbrook is that good. Okay. Just, I mean, he's just a Let's couple years what... removed from winning the MVP of the league. Let's see he had what back Tommy to back Shepherd seasons feels. with triple doubles. Tommy How old is he? Thirty two. So yeah. you're gonna. So in two years, you're gonna you're gonna have a thirty four year old. Westbrook, who, let's Making be honest, 40 plus million. he relies on his speed. Okay, have you been watching LeBron James the last couple seasons? Yes, I have. He's older? LeBron's a freak who's going over to Europe. Russell Westbrook's shady. a freak. I understand. He's going over there and getting shady treatments. They're doing some blood spinning. I don't know what they're doing to <laughs> LeBron because he's defying age. Well, he's just a freak. Freaking yeah. nature. And yeah. Westbrook could be the same way. Westbrook is also a freak. He's just but not as talented. Yeah, I mean, way, LeBron's not just doing it all on speed anymore. He has slowed down. He doesn't have the leaping ability, and that those those are qualities that Westbrook has. Uh, I mean, his athleticism is still pretty damn good. I thought pretty that two good. years ago that he was slowing down pretty. when he had the groin issues, but his athleticism is still there. I just wouldn't be afraid of, you know, him being too old. I bet you he'll have a good five years left in him. To use the Clinton Portis <laughs> Jinx. Five you, seems like I'd a say stretch, three, I'd say three, three, maybe elite years, and yeah. after that, it starts to All right, well, let me tail. ask you this. What if, what if, and Drabby, you answer the question, what if they want Wall and Rui? Take it. Take them. I get rid of Ru- Ru- Rui's If not they up. take Rui, they're not getting the number nine pick. Okay. No, I'm not, I'm not throwing the number nine in there. I'm saying they want Wall, but they also want you to throw in Rui. I think Done. the bloom is off the Rui rose. I mean, come on. It's <laughs> way too early. Not for Drabby. It's not. It's Second way team too early. rookie. Yeah. <laughs> you don't bloom off that rose. Okay, <laughs> Drabby, you're not answering the question. <laughs> what? I, you're not answering the question. Would, Would I you do it Rui? if they threw Rui? I, I might. Rui, Rui's good for the first 10 minutes of the game, and then he disappears. He can root for Rui in Houston. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, seriously. I just want Rui to be good. <laughs> right. All right. Yeah. Draft doesn't care whether he's wearing a Wiz uniform or a Rockets uniform. Look, Westbrook would be frustrating because, look, he's at, at, for his career, he shoots 30% from the three-point line. In the last couple of seasons, he's been sub 30% from the three-point line in an era where everybody wants you to shoot threes. What I would posit is the last year – in Houston, where D'Antoni wants them jacking up threes, he probably was forced to take more threes than he normally wouldn't take. Right. Let You know what? Let Beal and Bertans hoist up the threes. He doesn't have to take a billion threes Correct. if he gets dealt here. I don't know. I think it's a no-brainer. Let's go to the phones. 800-636-1067. Would you deal John Wall to land Russell Westbrook? Let's go to Colin in Manassas, line one. Colin, you're on with the junkies. What's up? Hey, Colin. Hey, what's up, buddy? guys. Hey man. So, um, yeah, so I, I'm with I'm with a, a lot of you guys right now. I mean, the NBA is a league of superstars. Like you can't be can't be a competitive team that actually has a chance to compete for a championship unless you have a superstar. And Russell Westbrook is one of those like five or ten guys that 
every team needs if they actually want to compete for a title. John Wall isn't. And so I would give up John Wall. I'd give up the nine. Uh, or I'd give up Rui. I mean, just to what you guys are saying, I mean, Rui's a good player, but you can't win in the league with good players. You need two superstars. And whether that's a good thing or bad thing, it's just how it is in the NBA right now. So if there's a chance that we can get a guy of Russell Westbrook's calendar, ca- caliber, I think we got to pull the trigger on that. Yeah, I mean, Rui was never meant to be a superstar, I don't think. I think Rui was drafted to be a, a very, very solid, like, 15-10 and 10 guy throughout, throughout his career. Yeah, he could don't, be a good player. Yeah. Russell Westbrook could end up being the leading rebounder on the team. Like, that's how good he is. Yeah. He'd be the leading yeah. assist guy. He'd be the leading rebounder. He'd probably be the second leading scorer on the team if you put him on the, on, on the Wizards. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go to, let me see. Let's go to Matt. In, is it line four? Matt in D.C. Matt, what's up, buddy? Hey, Jones, what's good? Hey, Matt, um, just want to make two quick points. I'm doing great, thanks. Um, I, I would trade Wall for Westbrook straight up. Um, Everybody would. If you... Straight course, up, yeah, that, that's, you, that's just not going to happen, but go ahead. Well, I, I also think the Heat, the, the heat, the uh, Rockets are clearly desperate to move one or both of their pieces. They both want out. And if you look at how uh, Miami made their title run, and if you look at Toronto and their championship team structure, uh, they obviously had a superstar in Kawhi, but they had bench players, role players. They had ninth picks, 15th picks, second-round picks. Uh, and that is just vital to winning a title this year. I, I, or not this year, but winning a title. Um, and I know it's a league of superstars, but we have a superstar in Beal, and he can run point, he can run two. And, you know, we need guys like Rui, we need the ninth pick, we need next year's 15 or 18, whatever it will be, to, uh, to get to the finals and hopefully win a championship. So you're going the long-term build route. They've been doing that forever. And what is it? What is it? Where are they? They're well, I mean, middling. They're middling is where they are. <laughs> Maybe not even that. Right. Maybe yeah. less than middling at this yeah. point. Yeah. I mean, to shake it up because, like again, like I said, they've topped out of what they have. That's one thing. So if you're if you're telling me that the Rockets are going to send Westbrook for Wall straight up, it's a no-brainer. But they're not going to do that. And they by the way, something. he points to Miami saying all these things, and some of it is true, talking about building the team and, you know, finding guys and – in, in later picks, guys like Duncan Robinson working out. You know what else they did? They brought in Jimmy Butler. Mm-hmm. And that, that made that, him an instant contender. That kind of helped. Yeah. Yeah, it certainly helped. All right, let's go one more. Let's go to line two. Let's go to Tony in D.C. Tony, what's up? Hey, good morning. Thanks for taking my call, brother. Yep. Hey, buddy. Um, hey, uh, I, John Wall, you know, I, I loved him when he came out of Kentucky. I thought that he was going to be the guy for us, but after I seen this summer at that birthday party, he's throwing up gang signs and all that. He ain't worried about basketball. He need to go. Wow, just that West. alone, that alone did it for you. Yes. Yes. Yeah. You talking about making all that money, you being the face of my franchise, you got to go. This is basketball, man. He's over him. He's over Is John it possible Wall. he was just kind of out of his mind and he just reverted back and just made a bad decision? Isn't that no, possible? it's not a bad decision. Nah, that 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 yes, that was a bad decision. See, it was right. okay if it was a mistake, but that was a bad decision. So I can't I can't deal with it. Give me Russell. Give me the guy who can show me he might not be the best scorer, but he can run the team. He a real dog. Yes, we never had it in DC since old man Jordan. Give me a real dog. <laughs> the real old dog man Jordan. Jordan. That's right. true. 